question is, I enjoy your channel. What about that movie Fathead? I realized that wasn't long term exactly, but is there a simplified explanation of ketosis valid at all? Their movie seemed to be, do a decent job at promoting the Atkins diet. Care to comment? For the record, I'm into 811. Just thought I'd get your thoughts on the matter. Cheers. Well, there's good websites out there. AtkinsExposed.org, AtkinsDietAlert.org. This whole movie, Fathead, all it is doing is basically telling people good things about their bad habits. I mean, can you imagine if you're a movie producer who wants to finance a movie and you're like, wow, you know, how are we going to get money to promote a McDonald's diet? <laughs> that's, that, that's basically what Atkins, Atkins is easy. Paleo diet is easy. Primal diet's easy. You just go to KFC where you're wearing your Vibrams. Thanks. And uh, got some juice here. Fast food. That's what I'm talking about. I love that when you bottles of organic juice just rock on your, next to your book there. Maybe. So we got, you go to McDonald's and your Vibrams, order your Big Mac, throw away the bread and just eat that. That's the Paleo Burger. And in Australia, the McDonald's Burger is a grass fed. So Paleo Primal people come to Australia, feast up in the McDonald's. I know Paul Check and Sean Crocs and the big fans of TGI Fridays. And I know Mark Sisson's a big fan of KFC. He's got his favourite fried chicken recipe on his website there. People say, Mark Sisson doesn't eat fried food. Yes, he does. Doesn't make him a bad person, but definitely fried food, that's going to fuck up your health. See all these fast food, paleo, primal, low carb experts riding off the fruit thing, the, or the rice thing, or the high carb Dr. McDougall style clinically published books like this. The paleo people use people like Denise Minger, who's like an 18 year old blogger, as their nutritional authority. Denise Minger is the nutritional authority of the paleo, primal, low carb world whenever they want to debunk these sort of clinical books, they get their 18 year old blogger to come on and write some blog and they spam it across their paleo primal forums and say this is how it is. I'm like, sorry guys, that's bro science, that's dogma, that's 18 year old blogger opinion, this is clinical data. You can see that there. Dr. Neil Bernard's program for reversing diabetes. People just read this. Read this. Get, try and get her to debunk this because that's pretty entertaining when you get the 18 year old blogger who's got the, the English qualifications to trying to debunk the clinical studies. Interesting stuff, guys. You know the paleo primal low-carb fathead world is in dire straits when they get the 18-year-old blogger to get on there and, and write stuff off. But here's the thing, Denise Minga, lovely girl, nothing personal next to Denise Minga, she actually eats the, the fruits, she eats the high-carb diet, which is... <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? So, my opinion on the Fathead movie, it's a, it's a bunch of fucking nonsense. They're basically just telling fat people, sit on the couch, throw away the running shoes, get rid of the oat bran, get rid of the bananas, and pick up the bacon and eggs. Just make sure they're grass-fed, but it doesn't matter. Paul Check eats at TGI Fridays and shows Cool and Croxton, so just go to your fast food restaurant with your friends and make sure you eat extra bacon instead of the, the steamed baked potatoes. If, if the naughty waitress throw some brown rice on your plate, make sure you scrape it off and fill it with some big dollops of cream and butter. Have a big block of butter on your plate because that's healthy and that's going to get you lean. And all those high carb people, they got it wrong. Carbs make you fat. Look at all that fat on there. Oh, fat man. I watched a movie called Fathead and I think it's got some good valid points. So I'm eating a lot more bacon and eggs now and I don't eat oatmeal anymore. Instead of eating oatmeal, I eat like a block of butter. I go to Whole Foods to get a block of butter for lunch and it's very really satisfying. I just eat it like that, just scrape it off, eat the block of butter. And so I think Fathead, a very uh, educational um, uh, d d documentary. Um, I like to eat a lot of fat and I think meat gives, I think meat's very healthy and part of a balanced diet. Yes. Um, so I've got to get back to the barbecue now. You know, it's just hilarious. It's just hilarious. You've got to laugh at the idiocy. Fat head, what a movie. If you're fat in the head, then perhaps you deserve that movie. Check yourself off with arteriosclerosis. Check yourself off with stroke. And look what happened to Stephen Burns. Stephen Burns was the head of Weston A. Price Foundation. He died of stroke. He was similar to my age. Died of stroke. Rest in peace, Stephen Burns. Dr. Atkins died obese. He had chronic arteriosclerosis based on the medical reports that were done enough this high carb stuff is where it's here to stay so that's just bottom line so ketosis I'll tell you what happens when you go to ketosis 
look at my other videos, ask yourself this question, why is there not a single athlete on the planet, period, who eats a low-carb diet? Low-carb diet means 150 grams or less of carbohydrates per day. There's not a single athlete on the planet who does it. Yes, you might have the person who does the nine-hour marathon. We're not going to run it in two hours, 57. You might have the person who plays golf low-carb. You might have the person who drives to the gym and pedals in the treadmill for five minutes, and they're, they're the athlete, and they're athletic, but you know what I mean. I'm talking like hardcore fit, man. And then people go, oh, but what about Jonas Cold? He's not low-carb. I emailed Jonas, a lovely guy, and he eats fucking heaps of carbs. He just promotes healthy fats. So someone says, oh, because you promote linseed oil that you're a low-carber. They like to cherry-pick information. So there's not a single low-carb athlete in the world. Low-carb means ketosis. Ketosis means ketoacidosis. Ketosis means your breast stinks, your fart stinks, your colon's clogged full of animal products. It means that you're really just hitting the wall. In running, we call it hitting the wall. In cycling, we call it bonking. I mean, bonking sounds fun, but it's just go for a ride on your bike or go and deal with your kids all day when you're in ketosis, and you tell me if that's fun. I don't know about that, but it ain't fun. So ketosis is something you want to stay away from. Eat as much carbs as you want. Just stuff in as many carbohydrates as you want. Get the bowl and just blah, blah, blah. brown rice, potatoes, fruit. Fruit's the best. Fruit's the best by far. But no one got fat on brown rice or corn or barley or quinoa or aromatic or millet. Blah, blah, blah. All these high-carb, low-fat sources. People add oil and shit to their corn chips. So they have like corn and 50% oil. Now it's a corn chip and people call it carbohydrate. In actual fact, half the calories come from fat. When corn in its natural state, it's maybe 3% calories come from fat. So let's get real. Let's get high carb. Let's get low fat. Let's get vegan. Let's get fruit on the menu. Let's get whole food carbs on the menu. If you don't like the fruit, fair enough. If you don't like fruit, eat your wheat pasta, eat your millet, whatever. Get the carbs in. Get the animal out. Get the oil out. Keep your nuts and seeds low. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. If you want to be a fat head, eat lots of fat. Look at my friend Jimmy Moore. Jimmy Moore's a lovely guy. Nothing personal. That's him. Did an interview with me. Even Jimmy Moore, one of the biggest names in the paleo primal low carb movement. Jimmy Moore's obese. Lauren Cordain, fat, overweight, nice people. Sally Fallon, fat, overweight, nice people. But look at the message they're giving. They're saying, eat all the fat you want. Carbs are bad. Carbs make you fat. And it's like, hang on, isn't anyone paying attention? How come all these fat gurus are telling fat people to stay away from carbs and they're fat themselves? What's going on? Is Lauren Cordain, the head of the paleo movement, sneaking bananas? Is Sally Fallon drinking too much organic apple and blackberry juice? What's going on? Is Jimmy Moore going down to the Chinese vegan restaurant and ordering big buckets of steamed brown rice and broccoli? What's going on there? And then you got the other primal proleo people pumping up steroids, jacking up steroids, doing intermittent fasting. I won't mention any names there, but people doing steroids, liposuction, face surgery, and that doesn't make them bad people. If you get, you know, face surgery and hair implants and... $50,000 in your teeth doesn't make you a bad person, but when you're saying that person looks, wow, it looks amazing, it's like, well, we're actually doing some steroids, they're doing a lot of facial surgery, they're doing liposuction. <laughs> so maybe not the best example of a natural sort of uh, body type. And again, it doesn't make a bad person just because you're a paleo, primal, low-carb person, and you're doing steroids and you're doing all this stuff. It doesn't make you a bad person, but it makes for some confusion out there when you sell out for money and let people ruin their health, and you just cash on your way to the bank in Malibu or whatever. That's pretty unethical in my book, but hey, I'm just saying. So that's my opinion on the whole fathead situation. Absolute nonsense. Telling people good things about their bad habits. Basically an advert for McDonald's, an advert for the meat and dairy industry, an advert for these destructive, pernicious, evil, death, fire destruction industries that we need to abolish to end the world hunger, to end the water pollution, the air pollution, the, the noise pollution, the screaming animals, all that nasty shit. Fathead, what a fucked up name for a movie. Fathead! But you need healthy fats, healthy fats and grass-fed butter and cheese and dairy and, and, and fermented goat's milk. That's what you need. Healthy fats, grass-fed fats, grass-fed steak and bison. You're not a monkey.